Hello again, everybody. Today I got a nice video for you about yum, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite soft plastics for any style of fishing, any kind of situation I come across, any kind of fishing I'm doing, whether I'm shaky head, whether I'm wacky rigging, whether I'm drop shotting, whether I'm flipping and pitching, whether I'm using a jig, any type of fishing style you can imagine, they got it. Anytime I go into a store looking for soft plastic baits, the first thing I look for is generally yum. They have anything from swim baits, Cinco's, more Cinco's, I love the Cinco worm, crawl trailers, more crawl trailers, very, very, very unique baits, like this one. This is great on a drop shot, it has a really thin tail, hook that on your drop shot, awesome, awesome. You can also do a shaky head with this and that tail is just kind of awesome bait, very unique but awesome. Um, yeah, it's just, Yum has the greatest baits in personal opinion. I mean, there's there's great names out there, and there's other names that I use as well, but Yum for me is, they're not super expensive, and they make very durable fish catching machine baits. Um, I like to flip and pitch a lot, so I'm going to go over a couple of my flipping and pitching baits first out of my arsenal um, of Yum baits, and that starts with those crawl style trailers that I showed you. And these are trunk trailers to go on my jigs. And this is a uh, traditional uh, crawdad color. It's got a gray on one side, an orange on the other. And this is like a blue flake jelly style color. It's kind of got like a purple hue to it. I'll show you here in just a second. I actually have them set up on a couple of jigs here. These are some Strike King jigs, I believe. Um, this is my black and blue flake. It's got a little bit of a rattle on it. Create a little bit more action in the water. A little more noise to draw their attention. And you see that that crawl trailer has like a purple hue to it. It has really nice blue flakes throughout it. And you can actually rig these up a different way if you wanted to. I really like compact bait. So I feed mine all the hook all the way through my chunk trailers. Um, to really give it that small compact bait or compact size as much as possible. But you can kind of nose hook them if you wanted to and just feed that on there. And it's going to give you like a, a larger profile to it. And it's just going to hang off just like that. Just going to hang off about halfway down your hook. Or right in the middle of the bend of the hook. And give you a little bit of a larger profile if you're into that or if you come across that situation where they're hitting larger profile baits that's going to work perfect i actually caught one um la right before it got cold this year or the end of last year and uh that's that's how i had it rigged i had it on a uh, a jig just like this right up against the bank it was a sunny day you know right before it started getting cold so the weather was kind of cooling down so he was up close to the bank threw my trailer in a large uh style you know on my, my chunk trailer i had to, about halfway down the bend just like that lar larger profile and he nailed it and i think he was probably about four and a half five pounds he was a real decent bass um but yeah these these are my chunk trailers for yum awesome 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 trailables dependable durable this is a peanut butter color or a pumpkin color whatever you want to call it and that's got the traditional crawl my skirt's all messed up there it goes that's got the traditional crawl color on it it's got the gray with the orange Awesome, awesome match for that trailer. Also, when my flipping and pitching, also you obviously got to include a Texas rig. They got these things called Bad Mama, Bad Mama, however you want to pronounce it. It's a beaver style bait. Awesome, awesome, awesome Texas flipping and pitching bait. This is a green pumpkin. Anytime I'm going to a new soft plastic or trying out a new soft plastic or Generally, any water. I mean, you could fish it in slightly dirty water. You could fish it in fairly dirty water. You could fish it in clear water. I mean, this is going to cover a general wide base of your water clarity as a green pumpkin. Green pumpkin, green pumpkin, green pumpkin. The, you can ask just about anybody. Probably the best color of any soft plastic bait you can get is a green pumpkin. If it gets dirtier, you want to get some darker profile baits. If it gets lighter, you might want to go a little more or cleaner. You might want to go a little more natural. But for the most part, a green pump has got you covered. Like I said, this is their Bad Mama trail, uh, crawl, beaver style crawl bait, creature bait. Texas rig this, uh, you can punch it, you know, I don't have a lot of appendages up here, it's kind of a narrow bait. 
you can punch it through the mats, you can flip it into structure, you can basically do anything you want if you're a flipping pitching style person or if you're a flipping pitching style season. Awesome, awesome, awesome Texas rig bait there. I love that. Um, I don't really like to use those too much as a trailer for my jigs, so I think they're a little bulky for that. Um, but we also have this young crawl here, which this I will throw on a jig every once in a while or a chatter bait, something like that. And I'll Texas rig this as well. You see these have the appendages on it. Not, you don't really want to look for a bait like this. If it's a thin tube style bait like this body has, that's great for punching. But these appendages a lot of times will get caught on the grass and it'll tear and it'll mess up your bait or it'll just get you hung up. This is an Okeechobee style crawl. Um, you could Texas rig these and these little appendages will almost work like a, they're, they're, they're pinchers here, will almost work like a, um, a split tail grub or a lizard tail. They have those real hard curly cube appendages there on the front. It gives a really, really good action in the water for some finesse. You could put this on a shaky head and it'll stand up in a defensive posture. You could put this on a Texas rig and flip it up against the bank. You can put this on a jig and it's going to give you that nice little tail action coming off the jig. Awesome, awesome, awesome trailer bait right there or crawdad bait, whatever you want to call it. However you want to fish it, you can fish it. That is an awesome bait. Again, this is a young crawdad. Let me see if I can find the proper name. A lot of these... Mmm, this is a crawl dead. Yeah, a lot of my, my labels, I've, I, I buy some of these packs and have them all together. A lot of the paper labels get worn off. Um, next, I'm going to go to my number one Cinco style bait. And the reason why I pulled this out is because I actually do flip this and pitch this a lot. This bait right here has the most versatility out of any bait that I've ever seen. Um, you can wacky rig them, you can... Texas rig them like I was saying, flip them and pitch them. You can rig them weightless and flip them and pitch them. And they have a real nice subtle action going through the water on the downfall. You can, you name it, you can do it. Um, this is a green pumpkin yum dinger with a chartreuse tail. This thing right here does phenomenal on a shaky head. And I'll show you why. I actually have one uh, green pumpkin dinger rigged up, uh, rigged up on a shaky head, but it's not one like this. Uh, I'm going to rig this up on a shaky head real quick. Alright, so that's just a quick shaky head rig. Basically, this shaky head will sit flush along the bottom. This dinger tail is going to stand up and it's got that nice chartreuse tail and it's just going to wiggle on the bass fish. The bass cannot stand it. They That little chartreuse is going to show up in dirtier water. So they just got this little green thing wiggling in their face or yellow, whatever color you want to call it. And it's just going to, they're, they're going to nail it every time. I've caught a ton, a ton, a ton of fish on this green pumpkin chartreuse. Rigging it different ways. Texas rig, shaky head, um, even wacky rigging it. And just, just an amazing versatile bait. I love it. Really, really durable plastic. You can see me stretching it with it on the hook right there. It goes right back. Really durable plastic. Really good bait. They come in varieties. Um, they have the 6 inch. I love the 6 inch Cinco Yum Dinger. It has a heavy enough weight to it that I could throw it a lot without a, uh, having to put a Texas rig weight on there. Um, but yet it still has that so to give that real nice subtle action through the water uh, whenever it's sinking. This one I do have rigged up on a Texas rig. However, I think this is called the Alabama Crawl. It has like a green pumpkin, like a bluish hint swirled into there. You have the... Uh, black and blue flake this is the one I really throw a lot here in the lake in my neighborhood it's real darker water dingier water and they're they're eating this up again I really like to have the six inches uh, six inch shinko or dinger but unfortunately I can't really find them in the stores around my house I've, I've ran out of them and I can't find them I probably gonna have to order them off a young website itself this is the four inch yum dinger again in a green pumpkin this is awesome for a Nico rig or a shaky head like I got it um, a Nico rig is pretty much like a combination between a shaky head and a wacky rig. Basically, you're going to put like a nail weight or a twist lock weight on the head of it and find your middle spot and wacky rig it. And basically, that head, just like being on a shaky head, will hit straight down on the bottom. But you got to kind of wacky rig like that so that tail's going to have a really crazy erotic and sometimes subtle action depending on how much you're moving your rod. And it's good, really good for um, if the fish are spoot real easy that time of year or if they're just not hitting. You could try a uh, Nico rig and a lot of times you get a strike where normally you haven't been getting a strike. Um, yeah, like I said, they even got these crazy swim baits. 
I haven't actually got a chance to try these, but I, they were hitting the chartreuse colors on my lake here in the neighborhood, and I really wanted to, they were having some sales up at the store here by my house, and I really wanted to try them. I think a real chartreuse, yellow chartreuse pepper flake swim bait, like almost like a grub with a curly Q-tail. You could throw this on as a trailer. You could throw this as a swim bait on like a weighted swim hook or probably weightless as well if you got a light enough ride. Um, let me see what else I got down here for you. Some more dingers. I really love the dinger worm. This is something very unique here. This thing is called a yam swarm, and they come in different sizes. This to me is just a very unique fit, uh, bait. I, there's not a lot like this out on the market but it's very effective i mean extremely effective you can wacky rig it you can shaky head it it's gonna have that real fine point tail coming up wiggling in a bass face but where it's really effective is on a drop shot you tie your drop shot rig nose hook it and that tail is just standing straight out there and giving a really nice action and they just they can't resist it a very 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 unique bait that just is very successful you don't see anything like this on the market now, what Yum's good for, you know, they're going to give you a variety of things, but they're successful with their stuff. Um, let me see what else I got here for you. Okay, I also got a Yum Dinger. The Yum Dinger comes in a large variety of colors and sizes. This is a black and blue swirl. The majority of the bait is going to be black, but this one actually has a lot of blue on it for one of the ones I've seen. But it has just a blue streak just swirled into it. Really nice color again for dingier waters. That's a lot of what my lakes have around here by my house is dingy water. So I try to stay closer to the darker colors. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how I rig these sometimes. Like I said, you can rig them on a shaky head. You can rig them on a Texas rig with a weight. You can... I got my terminal tackle box here beside me. Rig them on a wacky rig. And basically, when you do a wacky rig, you're just going to find your middle ground here. And stick that hook up through the middle. You'll notice how it's flopping on both sides. Really, really erratic action through the water. Um, a lot of times you'll get a lot of hits on that real finesse way of fishing. So you want to have, I usually throw mine on an open face, uh, medium action, 7 foot medium action, open face, real light, 8 to 10 pound braided line. Very, very, very successful. You skip it up under docks. Notice how the hook's exposed on this though. You know, there's not a way you could really text or texture hook this. So you're going to get hung up a lot if you're fishing around really heavy structure. So if you, this is a good technique to do just over a grass bed or in uh, right, like I said, skip it up under dock where you know there's not a lot of uh, debris just falling in the water or anything like that. That's a great style with uh, fish those. Um, that's, that's, I think that pretty much covers what I, my majority of what I throw with my yums. Um, you can do, like I said, you can also do the uh, drop shot, which you take your little drop shot hook. And just basically, let me see if I can take one off here. I'll just use this one. Nose hook it. I'll, nose, I'll drop shot these dingers and catch them all day long as well. Basically, nose hook it. And it's going to stand out true for you. Very good, versatile bait. The, the, the dinger is my go-to right now. It's just, I've, it's, I've, been, I've been catching tons of fish on it on the lake. Um, matter of fact, I caught one uh, a couple weeks back, about a five and a half pounds. So that they catch not only numerous of fish, but they catch large fish as well. The Yum Baits line that they have, especially in these dingers, are just just phenomenal. I can't really uh, speak high enough on them. I've, I've absolutely fell in love with them. Um, so go to your nearest store, see if you can find their Yum section, and, and just go through it and pick out your Yum Baits and try those and throw those to see if you don't replace a lot of just stuff that you carry in your tackle box as far as like your Cinco's or your cross style baits and your trailers and that kind of thing because you're not going to pay a whole lot of money there's that is one good thing i can say about them as well like i said this channel is mainly about being successful in the water without spending a whole bunch of money and yum is one brand that you could do that on these dingers i think are about 250 at the most 238 250 a piece at academy and you can go out all day and catch fish all day long on them dark water clear water whether fish are skittish or not it's got a subtle action to it if you want it to you can really shake it to give it a hard action if they're not if they're really into those uh, reaction strikes that day. Just all around, just extremely versatile line of soft plastics. That's that is that is my my opinion of Yum is. It's just when I think Yum, well, it's exactly what their name. I mean, the bass are going to see it and they're going to go Yum and they're they're going to eat it. Um, 
any questions or comments you have go ahead and drop them in the inbox if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends hit me up on facebook and instagram i have all the pictures of the fish that i've been catching most of them here lately is on these yum dingers so you can see how successful they are and see that i'm not just pitching a line i'm not sponsored by anybody again this is just me being honest with everybody and trying to help everybody catch more fish and save money while doing it yeah go, go check out my instagram go check out my facebook you'll see all the fish i've been catching and how i've been successful on these yum baits and until next episode i'll see you next time have a good night tight lines